Hey, welcome back. Identity protection uses the learnings Microsoft has acquired from their position in organizations with Azure AD, the consumer space with Microsoft accounts, and in the gaming with Xbox to protect your users. Microsoft analyzes 6.5 trillion signals per day to identify and protect customers from threats. In this lesson, you will learn about Azure Identity Protection. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Identity Protection is a tool that allows organizations to accomplish three key tasks. The first task is automate the detection and remediation of identity-based risk. Second task is investigate risk using data in the portal. And third main task is export risk detection data to third-party utilities for further analysis. Microsoft analyzes 6.5 trillion signals per day to identify potential threats. These signals come from Azure AD, Microsoft account, and Xbox accounts. The signals generated by these services are fed to identity protection. So they can be used by tools such as conditional access, which uses identity protection signals to make access decisions. These signals are also fed to security information and even management tools as well, such as Sentinel for further investigation. Identity protection categorizes risk into three tiers, low, medium, and high. Additionally, it can calculate the sign-in risk and user identity risk as well. So what is sign-in risk? Sign-in risk is the probability that the sign-in wasn't performed by the user. Let me quickly show you how you can find identity protection on your Azure portal. I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to go to search bar and type in identity protection and select Azure AD identity protection. On the left hand side, you can see that there is user risk policy and sign in based risk policy. Let's find out what are the options available in the sign in risk policy. Sign in risk policy uses two types of signals to calculate the risk a typical travel and anonymous IP address. A typical travel uses sign in information from a typical location based on user's recent sign in. Anonymous IP address uses sign-in information from anonymous IP addresses, for example, Tor browser or anonymized VPNs, etc. The next one is user risk. User risk is a probability that a user identity has been compromised. And this uses signals like unfamiliar sign-in properties, malware-linked IP address, leak credentials, password spray, Azure AD threat intelligence, etc. And these risk signals can trigger actions such as requiring the user to provide additional multi-factor authentication, reset the password, or block access until an administrator takes actions. Now let us look into the different types of reports available with Azure AD Identity Protection. It gives you reports such as risky users, risky sign-ins, and risky detections. You can find these report by going under report. Investigation of events is a key to understanding and identifying any weak points in your security strategy. So after completing an investigation, admins will want to take action to remediate the risk or unblock users. Organizations also have the option to enable automated remediation using the risk policies. Microsoft recommends choosing events as soon as possible because time matters when working with risk. Identity protection is a feature of Azure AD Premium. After completing an investigation, admins will want to take action to remediate the risk or unblock users. Organizations also have the option to enable automated remediation using their risk policies. Microsoft recommends Closing events as soon as possible because time matters when working with risk. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about network security groups. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.